So we are going up there. That's Brooklyn right there. That's all our entourage following us. And so everybody is on a horse now. Mr. Gorman is on a horse. All right. And now they very clear. And the far far you see the Pacific Ocean. It's a 70 kilometers distance from Pacific here. Journey through the desert. Till I find my way to you. Many so people took, are here so to. Yeah. They got the sticks oh, for us yeah. to go up there. How much are the sticks? How much are the sticks? The sticks okay. are 10 quetzales each stick. 10 quetzales. Okay, let us pay. So let, let, let us go pay and then we'll okay. get more. You, you follow me another another side? Yeah. You, you shop a stick, you yeah. search a box. Uh, okay. Yeah. We only need no, one. Not right here. Not okay. right here. Okay. No sticks here. Okay. okay. Right. You follow me uh, two minutes. Okay. okay. All right. I recommend water. Yes. Yeah. We have one. Or one ornamental. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so this we are going up there. It's so cold guys. We thought it we, we thought it was hot. It's really cold. Girls, how do you feel Brooklyn? Yeah. Overwhelmed? Yeah. <laughs> this is us guys. Princessa? Alright. So we are getting ready to go to the Pacaya. Pacaya um, volcano, and it looks like it's so windy. We got all the um, all these guys are selling um, sticks and uh, canes for the horses. All right, so for the girls, it was free. I mean, for the for Lexington because she's six, it's been free. Brooklyn is um, nine, so she was twenty casals, and we were fifty casals. So let's get hers because she would like to have one. Yeah. So we are going now. We will see you guys. <laughs> All right. All right. So Brooklyn is on the horse now. Only one horse. Brooklyn is on the horse now. We're gonna be walking and then we're gonna take turns, right? Yeah. We'll take turns. If you get we get tired, then you jump off and then we'll get on. What's the name of the horse? Principe. Principe. Hi, Principe. There are so many horses around here. It's a lot of horses, but we only need one horse because we want to walk too, so we can burn some fat and can calories. But we, Principe got lucky, so we are going with Principe. And then we got our sticks. We got we got our sticks that we can walk like Moses up there. <laughs> We're gonna be walking like Moses up there. That's a short one. This is my baby. And that's yours. All right, Moses, let's go. All right. On we go. All right, so I'm not sure, but it seems like everybody is following us. It's uh, it's yes. <laughs> I'm not sure why they are following us, but I guess that's the tradition over here. So we are going up there. That's Brooklyn right there. That's all our entourage following us. It's my husband. Hey, show, show us your cane. We got our king traveling to the volcano with everybody behind us. I don't know where, why they are following us, but hey, we don't mind the people. <laughs> so it seems like Lexington is having a hard time with her shoes and rocks and sand going in her shoes. She doesn't like that. So we probably have to get her a horse and get her, her sister a horse too. All right, so we, we all ended up getting a horse. And so everybody is on a horse now. Mr. Gorman is on a horse. We are all on a horse. Hi guys, we are on horses now. That's Quintess, right? Muñeco. Tequila. Oh, tequila? Tequila. And Principe. So we, we end up taking horses out because it's so hard. <laughs> <laughs> this is Pacaya. 
Italia. This is Italia. The horse is better, it's a better idea. <laughs> That's why you come with them. Because I would be like, I need a horse. <laughs> I couldn't do it anymore. <laughs> but, <laughs> guys, I couldn't do it anymore. I couldn't do it anymore. It was so hard. It was really tough. So, all right. We'll let you guys know how it is when we get up there. All right, guys, so we are on the horses now. It's so windy guys. It's really windy. So pardon me for if you can't hear um, the content because it's really windy out here. Fuego. Mm. Guatemala has 37 volcanoes. 37 only three actives. Santiago, Fuego, and Pacaya. Pacayas eh, Fuego is more active Guatemala, Central America. Pacaya is more busy to more easy. Maybe 80,000 people visited Bacaya in Nigeria. American people, European people, Latin American people, Panama people. Up and up and up the mountain. I'm on my horse. Uh, we're going up and up the mountain. Now the horses are thirty dollars round trip. If you are not able to go up all the way up onto the mountain, you are you are able to. <laughs> yes, we did. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> so we are able to. Um, you pay for thirty dollars and you get a horse. To go up and then bring it a big beast, beast. I mean, if these are not easy. They are not the easiest hikes, guys. It's really hard. It's tough. So I got one. My husband got one horse. My my little girls got one horse each. So it's it's kind of tedious. <laughs> we are a little spoiled, I must, I must say. So yeah, that's why we got we got the horses. Um, like I said, it's $30 per horse round trip to go up the volcano and back. So, if that's what you, you choose, like us, then you are able to um, get a horse. All right? And so, all together, it's going to be 120 for all four of us. Dollars. Not, not Casales. $120. high 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 up the mountain up the volcano there's no way I could have walked okay guys I'm sorry if you walk a lot God bless you but for me I don't think I would hi puppy I don't think I would have been able to walk at all up these mountains I can walk a straight line but not on mountains Yes, you need work here. Okay. You, is that possible you contribute with the peoples? Thank you. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. So, so guys, I think we're gonna continue with the with the horses because apparently it creates jobs for everyone here. So we would like to help out in terms of you know creating jobs. <laughs> I guess that's a little we can do. So we are gonna continue with the the horses. This is the whole lava stuff. Wow, look at this guys. 
This is crazy. Uh huh. Wow. <laughs> All right, so we are going up, up, up. It's very cold here, guys. It's really cold and windy. We are going up the mountain. Well, I mean, I'm mountain, but volcano. We're going up the mountain. Gotta be careful because they said these these rocks are very strong. So you want to be extremely cautious, extremely careful. So I can write it down and become the perfect man for you. What you like, what you don't, you should never be flying. So, Are we able to bake some potatoes in there? Yeah. Like hot potatoes. Oh, that's the marshmallow. So he has, you know, our tour guide, Marvin, who is amazing. Shout out to Marvin. If you ever come to Pacaya, ask for Marvin so he can really guide you guys. He's amazing. He has the uh, marshmallow and the, the girls are going to get to use the, the heat from the cave to do the marshmallow. That's exciting. Where you at? Where you been? Tell me everything about you. Go. By a restaurant over here called the Chichoy restaurant. And so we're going to grab a bite before we head on to our place. It seems like it's a, a well known restaurant over here. It's been around for about 50 years. So here we are. Now I'm just curious to see how they are making this tortilla and that is the, I guess they put on their airplanes and they, and they do that. Spike, oh look at chill. Yum yum. Spike. There we go. And yes, so we're we got our drinks now. We are about to get our that's our driver over there. He's been driving us around all day. And so we had to bring him to eat so we eat with us this afternoon. Baby, how do I say? Very good. All right, we got our food. The potatoes, steak, chicken, some asparagus. Guys, Lexington is having a burger. And Brooklyn is having a burger. Me amor. What's your mind? Tequila 
these girls are not a part of the tequila. It's just us. They're, just, they're, us they're just in the shot. They're just in the shot. But we are one, two, three. With two shots of tequila in the margarita. Viva Guatemala! Mm. Guatemala. <laughs> so guys, it's been so great out here. It's been so nice in, in Guatemala. Yes, and we are at, uh, which restaurant is this baby? This restaurant is called the Chichoy. Chichoy. Chichoy restaurant, C-H-I-C-H-O-Y. Chichoy restaurant, it's been amazing. They have amazing food. The food is really good, so if you ever in Guatemala, make sure try this you restaurant. try this restaurant. It's, it's about an hour from Lake Atitlan. Yes, so an hour from Lake Atitlan, and you can always come here. You tell your driver, there. Are, I mean, the price is not that bad out here, so you can always come here. But uh, restaurant Chichoy is a great restaurant. We enjoyed our food, right, girls? Oh, it was. You guys want to have something to share? So guys, it's amazing over here. Yes, and right. I gotta say the food is on point. They hit it right on the, the head. Right from the drinks to the uh, the food we ordered. But make sure you speak Spanish though. Oh. That's one thing I gotta tell yeah, you. Spanish. Nobody speaks English uh, here, uh, but one person. At least, have, at least have Google. Exactly, have Google to translate. Yeah. There's only one guy who spoke English here. <laughs> one person. One person out of the whole bunch. I mean, one person there spoke gotta English. There gotta be 20, 20 uh, waiters. Yes. At least. About 20 waiters, and we only have one person that spoke English. Halfway. And, and was able to help us out. But see, now that's a wake up call for us yes. to learn how to speak Spanish. Yes. Because you don't expect everybody to know your language, but when you're going somewhere else, you gotta make sure that you know other people's language. Yes. That's why we travel. Yes. Right? To know other people's culture, language, and everything about them, about the people. Keep on watching our videos because we have, um, we went to the cultural center and we have the outfits. The beautiful outfits that the girls got to try on. We all got to try them on. So keep watching so you can actually watch those when we went and try them out. Yeah. How, yeah. Was, how was that, girl? That was like really um, like a good experience to dress up as a Guatemalan. Oh, yeah. Yes, and to get to try to the weaving. You both oh, look yeah. so cute. Yeah. So and, pretty. I know. And Brooklyn and Lexington got to try the weaving. So they were able to weave. Just like they will make the outfits. The outfits usually it takes a month to do the men's and it takes like six months to do certain outfits. It's so great. Watch those videos. That video we're gonna post about the cultural center. You will love that video so much. Alright, so go ahead, like, share, subscribe <laughs> to be LMT. LMT. Bye. All right, so these lovely ladies are still doing their thing. I am so happy that we came here to see them. Bye, au revoir. Que tenga buen día. Go get, go get your fight. All right, so we had a great night. Dining here, it's been so good. We had a great time. This is it, the Chichoy. Chichoy is amazing. We had a great time dining here. It was so good. If you're ever in Guatemala, visit Chichoy, okay? Chichoy restaurant. That's it right there. It's, they have one of the best, best authentic. Chow chow. Let's go back. Look upstairs. And there's upstairs, downstairs. That's how it looks like. It looks great. Upstairs, downstairs. It looks awesome. Every single second I just feel like I should say.
So what have you, what have you, what have you been sitting there and thinking all this time? Oh, oh, oh. What's your mind? 